What is going on, ladies and gents? Sinister One is back with a new video, and boy, do I have a special one for you guys today. So we are playing some Star Citizen, and um, luckily enough, as I was just, you know, kind of flying around in the verse, uh, I asked someone if by any chance that they may have had a, um, a Carrick, which is a new ship, the Anvil Carrick, that has come out recently in 3.8 um, in one of the relatively, uh, the this is 3.9 right now, but the patch before this, there was a sub patch that came out and uh, the Carrick was available. So we are going to sit here and we're going to play this. So I'm so freaking happy, excited that we actually get the chance to do this. So um, again, thank you so much for allowing me to be able to do this. Unfortunately, I don't even see your name anymore and I can't go back to find out what it is. But uh, thank you again so much for allowing me to show this off. So we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Anvil Carrick. This is definitely one of the biggest ships in the game as a flyable right now. Obviously, it's not. I don't think it's as big as the 890 Jump, but it is. Uh, it's massive. It's huge, and uh, it's. I can't wait to show it off to you guys. This is my first time in it too, so I'm going to be learning a lot off of this as well. My name is Sinistrino One. Welcome to Star Citizen. This is Alpha 3.9. Remember that you're going to see bugs. There might be things that happen. Uh, the game might crash, whatever. It kind of is how it is, and that's just uh, something that we all live with being in alpha form. So I'm really, really, really excited uh, to be able to show you this. This is so super freaking cool. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get in, and we're going to do a little fly around of the Anvil Carrick. So... I know this ship right now doesn't look very big. We're going to do a little fly around first here. I'm live in the verse right now, so I apologize if there's any hiccups or whatnot. There's the bridge. There's two parts of the bridge, upper and lower. I try to get it in as much sun as I could, so we're at the planet Microtech, and we got the sun right there to give us a little bit of light. But uh, it's a little hard to show the, the scale of this, so I'm going to show you a little piece of me. That way you can see me in the third person. You can kind of get a feel for just how big this ship actually is. This is one massive ship. And it is beautiful. I always wanted to get an Anvil uh, Carrick, but I have... I have a few different ships, but this, unfortunately, the only, the one thing that kept me from getting this ship was the fact that the pilot cannot operate any weapons. All of the weapons are in the turrets, um, just similar to, like, the Millennium Falcon. And we'll get into the turret here in a little bit so you guys can actually see, but it definitely reminds me of the Millennium Falcon turrets. But unfortunately, the pilot himself cannot do any type of weapon combat. All right, so we've showed you, you know, outside of Microtech here and uh, the outside of Carrick. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. There's specifically the way to get in. There's a few ways to get in. You can actually get in between the docking collars or whatever, or you can get in via the back. We're going to get in via the back just because I think it's, um, I think it's better. Here it is. It's better for show-off purposes. So we're going to click Open Door. We're going to watch how this takes its time and it kind of comes out towards us. I decided to do this in space instead of on the ground just to make things a little bit smoother, more frames. Alright, looks like she's ready for us. Hopefully we don't fall. Alright. We didn't fall. Uh, yeah, thank you to Zurum Sum. Thank you. That's I'm glad your name showed up there for actually uh, allowing me to uh, take a look at his Carrick. This is his personal Carrick that he actually bought, and he allowed me to be able to show it off to you guys. So awesome! So this is your uh, vehicle bay. So you're going to be able to store, um, you know, the ship's ground vehicles mostly. I think you can actually get a Merlin in here, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, mainly this is for, like, if you want to put a Ursa rover in here or uh, something like that, a cyclone or a few dragonflies and whatnot, so you can easily get out. All right, so there's a few different things to show off here. First off, we have a uh, service ladder. This will take you, let's say, uh, power on the ship is messed up or something. You need to get to somewhere a little quicker than um, the regular route. You can take this ladder, and it's going to take you to all the decks except for, I believe, the cartography 
deck, which is the highest level. I don't think it, it takes you to that one. But we're not going to take that route. We're actually going to go ahead and go through the cargo area. So you have a few elevators here, and then you have a docking collar. So the docking collar is where you can place your spacesuits. And you'll be able to go in and out through here if you're in space, if that's your thing. Um, or to dock with another ship once that's actually available to do in the game. But for right now, there's not really much. But yeah, so in here, this is just where you would uh, um, place your suits. But that is not implemented just yet. So um, here in the next, I don't know, probably in the next year or so, they're going to probably intimate or they're going to make it to where like you actually have an inventory that you can't just store in thin air because right now you can pretty much pull whatever outfits and weapons you want right out of your backpack even though there's nothing there where the game is actually going to be more survivalistic and realistic and you're actually going to have to have a weapon or a suit put in a specific area and in order to get to that suit you have to find it and you have to put it on like real life so there's an elevator here this elevator takes you to uh three different areas, uh, subdeck, habitation, and technical. Uh, it does not, however, take you to the very, very top cartography deck, or whatever that's called. I think it's... Uh-oh. Uh I'm stuck inside! No! There we go. Alright, so we've got three cargo bays. Now, these are huge cargo bays. I believe you can fit somewhere to between, if you know anything about Star Citizen, uh, these are cargo pods. Uh, you can fit about the same amount as a Freelancer Max, I believe. So this is, if you're, if cargo is your thing, um, then this is obviously going to be a decent ship to do it with. But right now, cargo hauling isn't the best choice because of so many frequent server crashes and whatnot. So you never know if you put hundreds of thousand dollars into uh, transporting cargo, something happens, and boom, you lost all of that money, and then you get nothing. So obviously when the servers are more stable, then that's going to become something way more viable. But there are three different sections here. This is the first. Then we've got the second one. And last but not least, the third. So lots of room and space for cargo in the Carrick. All right, so as we enter here, again, I don't know anything about the ship. I've never actually been in it, so we're just going to kind of go seat of our pants. Every door we see, we'll try to take a look at. Looks like we have our weapons locker here, which is uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have a bunch of loadouts set out, and then in order to get those loadouts, you can't just go in your Moby Glass. You're going to have to go here, pick them up, and that's what eventually the gameplay is going to be like. But as of right now, it's not. More places to store your suit. Looks like we have another one on the right side as well. Same thing. And then we have the main elevator. Now, this elevator, I believe, takes you to all access. So you get all four decks, subdeck, habitation, technical, and cartography. But we're not going to do that yet. We're going to go around. Looks like we have a turret. This is taking you to the aft turret, which does actually look kind of similar to uh, the turret in the Valkyrie. So let's hop inside. We'll take a look. All right, looks like it's glitched right now. Okay, there we go. Um... Yeah, not much to see here. It looks, uh... There, okay, here we go. Power on. Anvil Aerospace. All systems online. There you go. So as you can see, if you have friends, this is definitely going to be an amazing ship for you to get a hold of and uh, have some fun with. And you can see in the top left where your aim of fire is. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the side turrets are the best ones that really make you feel like you're in um, Star Wars. So there's that, and it looks like this just follows you around to the other side. Yep. All right, so let's take the elevator up. And we're going to head to the next level, which is the habitation deck. This is uh, obviously where your living is going to be. Uh, food, medical, I believe, and all of that. This place has its own medical 
facilities. So if you want to make this a mobile spawn point in the game, you can do so. Like if you die and the ship is up in the atmosphere, let's say you take one of the sh a smaller ship down to the planet's surface to do some exploration or missions or something. If you were to die and the ship is still up in the sky, then you can respawn from this location, which is actually a really cool feature. Only two ships right now, I believe, have it. And the Cutlass Red is one of them. And then you've got this ship here. I think, I'm not sure if the 890 Jump can do it. I know it has a med bay, but I don't know if it actually has that. So we've got two different sides here. And I think, I think that's just the same thing, just opposite side. Yeah, nothing to see there. So here's medical, and I guess this is where you can do it. All right, this is awesome. So we got a storage room. And you have the doctor's office. I guess you have people sitting here that kind of monitoring the patients. But if you land in the bed, and again, you can do this with the Cutlass Red as well. This will heal you if you lie down. Only It'll only heal you if you are actually injured. So obviously, you know, we're not injured right now, so it can't heal us. But we can set as preferred ICU, just like the Cutlass Red, and that means that next time I die, I will spawn here. As long as this ship is still, like, functioning and still in the world and hasn't been blown up, we'll respawn here. And then you can clear that if you wanted to as well. Alright, so we'll go out of the medical bay here and uh, move on with our tour. Alright, so we got a left and a right. So, let's go right first. This is the crew quarters. So this is where the crew is going to sleep. Uh, as you can see, they've got like a pool table. A very weirdly shaped pool table. You get a little view of the outside. We've got the head here. Two sinks. Yep. Two regular bathrooms. All right. And here's where the crew quarters are. So, got a couch, got some weapon lockers, or not weapon lockers, but places to store outfits. Looks like there's a total of five beds. One, two, three, four, and five. So again, you can lie down. This is where you would say log off in the game, and then you would come right back in at this same exact location. So you can either log out or get up. And again, the game is supposed to allow you to be able to log back in right here, but it's still been known to be a little buggy. It's also got showers, so you saw the bathrooms earlier. Well, here are the showers. don't know which doors open automatically and which ones actually have the ones you have to press yourselves. All right, so there is crew quarters. So let's go across. I believe that's the, uh, the kitchen, I guess, or the mess hall. Yep. So this is where you're going to be cooking, eating, dining, all that kind of stuff. Again, this is not a fancy ship. This is a worker ship, right? This is an exploration ship. This is meant for you to go out far beyond reaches of outer space, do some exploring, and just uh, have enough for you to survive and live uh, off of in here. Speaking of... No, we got 100%. Alright. I was going to say, I was going to see if we needed to drink a little bit of water or anything, but... Alright. Let's move on. This is the captain's dorm, or the captain's quarters. So he's got his own office. A 
and of course he has his own room and his own bed, his own bath and shower. Perfect. All right, we'll move on to the next area. This is the bridge. So this is where the magic happens, and we have two sections to the bridge, an upper and a lower. So we'll take, obviously, a look at the lower first. This is where some of your servers are for data. Um, different compartments for stuff. And here is where you would fly the ship. This is one location. You got a pilot seat. Um, then you've got a co-pilot and another co-pilot. Except this is more probably like one would be a co-pilot, another one would be more manning the shields and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and take a look inside the pilot seat. So you can kind of get a feel of how it actually looks uh, when you're flying. So I've got the engines off right now, so let's turn them on. Engines online. And this is a, a brand new ship that just came out, so it's got the new UI. And of course you can take a look at the ship from the outside here. Looks absolutely beautiful. And I believe this is a variant, a variant, right? I think so. The normal one's a little darker than this, I believe. I could be wrong, but... The only thing I don't like is it's got that Drake HUD, where it's green. I'm not a real big fan of the green color HUD on the MFDs, which is what these are called. But, uh, yeah. So, again, there are no... Um, how do you call it? No weapons whatsoever. All weapons are done via the... Engines. Ships, uh, turrets that are going to be manned by others. All right, so next up, we'll go ahead and head to the upper deck. Upper bridge. And this is the command deck. This is where, like, the, I guess the commander will be. You have a few uh, support seats, and these support seats amount to just MFD control right now, so if you wanted one person to control shields and things like that, then that's pretty much what these are going to do. There's nothing, like, too out there right now. As you can see, it just shows MFDs. So you can have one person in control of all contacts, you know, the shields, uh, weapons, and things like that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Looks like you got a little hologram here at the center. Um, obviously, that type of gameplay hasn't been implemented yet. So, and then we have the the command presence. I, I I really don't know how to really say what this is. This is the command station, is what they call it. But this is actually another way to fly. Engines online. So if we go here, as you can see, I'm actually flying the ship. So you can fly the ship from up here and get an even better view. You can do everything that you need to do. As you can see, this ship is a lot slower to maneuver. It is a big ship. Therefore, maneuvering this ship is not going to be uh, as easy as other ships. And as you can see, you've got all different types of... There's New Babbage, which is the brand new location that you can travel to. But yeah, pretty awesome. So you have two areas that you can actually fly the ship from now. Engines offline. And you get to do it while standing up, which I think is actually pretty cool. Alright, so you've already seen those. Let's go ahead and move on now. We've got uh, skate pods, alright. Uh, these aren't implemented in the game yet, but eventually if you're Ship is about to blow up. This is how you're going to save yourself. Just like in Spaceballs. Hopefully the bearded lady and the, the bear won't be there. Alright, so from what I remember seeing is this is a repair station. 
So this is where you can repair certain stuff on your ship. Uh, maybe weapons, other things like that. Like a little repair corner. And on the other side, yeah, okay, so the other side is like this drone area, which hasn't been implemented into the game yet. So you're going to be able to get in these, um, these things here, and you're going to be able to operate drones. Those drones might be able to fix things on the outside of your ship. I don't 100% know. Uh, I'm just not that familiar with it yet. But yeah, so this type of gameplay has not been implemented yet. Uh, but once it is, obviously, you know, we'll, we'll let everybody know what's, what's going on with it. All right, so we're at the helipad, or whatever you want to call it, the, the landing uh, area, or the, um, I don't know what you call it. It's, it's the, the part of the ship where you can actually store another ship inside here, which is pretty freaking cool. So you can click that to open the door. It's the landing pad. Looks like they both go and do the same thing, so let's head over this side first. You can see it all from here. Hangar bay. Alright, that's what they call it. Now, you're outside, so I could die right now if I didn't have my helmet on. But as you can see, there is gravity here because we're on this. So, this could fit a few different types of ships, nothing too big. The, the Pisces can fit in here. Um... Obviously, a Merlin could fit in here. Something very, very small would be able to fit into this area. Nothing, you know, obviously too big. But it's just nice. Wow. <laughs> so there is... A, someone's got an 890 jump right next to us. That, that scared, like, the bejesus out of me. I wonder if anyone's saying anything. Wow, that literally scared the crap out of me. I looked up and I see something moving. I'm like, oh my god, what happened? Someone's got an 890 jump right next to me. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and shut this just to make sure that they don't come in. Let's keep going. Oh, so there's a service ladder. This is what we saw earlier, right? And there's, uh, yep, this is the very top of it. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got a uh, middle section elevator. That's a big elevator. And it looks like this is where our side turrets are. So, as you can see, this just should remind you of very, very similar to the Millennium Falcon. So, let's enter it. Anvil Aerospace. All systems online. Look at that. Wow. I mean, it looks good, too. Looks like he left or he's not. He's on the other side. That's amazing. Feels good. Reminds me just so much of the... Uh... Oh, it's on the other side. Yep, there it is. You can't really see it because we're on this side right now. But we'll go on the other side, too. Oh. I mean, the potential that this game actually has is so amazing. If they can just finally finish it all, you know? So we got engineering back here. What's here? Oh, okay, so this is looking out on engineering. And then we've got the other turrets on this side.
Gonna see if that 890 jump is still out here. It's such a nice looking like UI and everything. I really love it. Okay, you must be gone. All right, so we have two other places to look at. So we have the engineering section and then the cartography section. And that door just takes you right back out to where we were before. Let's head to engineering. So it looks like engineering, there are two, two decks too as well. Ladders can be deadly, so watch out. More storage compartments. This is where Scotty would be giving it all she's got, Captain. What do I got over here? Fuel tank access only? Okay. More components. And probably the same thing on this side. Yep. Alright, so that leaves one last place to go to. And that is going to be on the very, very top. Beam me up, Scotty. Listen to all those noises. Sound. Oh, that's so crazy. Alright, so let's go up to the final photography deck wish I could show you combat but like I said there is no combat in this this is the photography deck so this is where you would uh, I guess I mean just uh, kind of look at the hologram of the the system you're in plot your routes you're gonna do for exploring and whatnot obviously it's just gonna be an MFD right now which Everything is going to be in MFD until they actually have it implemented. So, cool stuff. Kind of reminds me of like the Normandy, you know? What do we got here on the left and right? Escape pods. And we have an airlock. So I believe this takes you out yep, outside just above the hangar bay. So you can EVA out here. Whoa, don't die. Okay, so I have somehow... There we go. Okay. That was close. Nope, don't die. <laughs> the game can still be a little bit buggy. Clearly. Let's try this again. All right, so I guess once you get on here, it'll probably lock you down. No? Okay, so once you're here, it just automatically comes out here. But yeah, so where we are again right now is we're right above the um, hangar bay. So once that opens up, the ship comes out. And you guys pretty much know everything from there. Well, there you go, ladies and gents. That's a pretty much a, a decent good look at the Anvil Carrick, which uh, is one of the newest ships in Star Citizen right now. Current version Alpha 3.9. And I got to say, this ship looks absolutely amazing. There's really... I mean, the only reason to have this ship right now is you want to play with your friends. You all get together and you... Um, 
have people man the guns and then you go out and you do combat missions and stuff that'd be pretty fun but as far as the pilot goes he cannot control any of the weapons so um and you can obviously harp you know do some cargo and whatnot in it but yeah i mean this has been freaking cool again thank you so much zarum i think that's that's how you say it for you know just allowing me to be able to show this off to you this is um pretty freaking awesome star citizen is such an amazing beautiful game and uh i mean i can't recommend all of you guys out there you know getting a chance if you can to play it you can get into the game for a little as like uh 25 dollars or so or something like that um to pledge i'll put my um my star number down in the bottom of this video so if you guys want and decide to pledge for the game and get into it so you can play it then you can easily do it if you click on or if you uh, type in my star number uh, that's in the description. It'll allow you to be able to have a little extra money in game once you actually uh, get in the game. So other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, this has been my pleasure to bring this to you. Let me see if I can do a um, an emote here. If it'll, I don't know if it'll item. Oh, if we did that, we'd die right there. Yeah, so we can't do any emotes out here, I guess. Oh, yeah, but so here's some really cool stuff. So you've got your weapon, right? So they got something new um, that I haven't seen yet, which is the customize option, which allows you to actually customize. So right now, as you can see, I've got a... Um, oops, there it goes. Right now, I've got a uh, suppressor on... And there's other things you can get on to. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I just wanted to show that off a little bit. Star Citizen is one heck of a game. And I, I it's tough to get into. It really is. And you, a lot of you are going to be confused trying to figure out how to get it to run and all that. But I'm telling you, once you actually do get it to run... It's just a game that'll blow you away time and time again. So, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Sinistrain01. Um, I just wanted to show off a little bit of Star Citizen and uh, the Anvil Carrick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think below of the ship and what do you think of Star Citizen in general. I would love to know your comments. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.